Good afternoon everybody and welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan and this is going to be a fantastically fun game of Civ 6 that I massively recommend that you have a try at for a few reasons and I will go into those in a second. First of all, if you haven't seen, I've got one of my many community polls going up at the moment asking you guys to decide what my next game is. Make sure you go check that out and have a vote on it. I also would recommend you come to Discord. I plug Discord a lot. It's a community that we all chat to each other on about Civ and you can come and talk to me and it's all very nice and lovely. But more importantly, all of the save files to all the games I play are up there, including this one. And there are a few reasons why you might want to play this one. We're playing a TSL Mediterranean map as Rome. You can see I've got all 16 people that can start on this map at once, loading in at the same time. All of the other settings have been left alone. I am playing on Deity Standard Speed with Barb Clans, Heroes and Legends, Monopolies and Secret Societies all turned on. But you want this exact save file. Firstly, I found the Vatican right next to me, which is quite exciting. So there we go, we're already getting plus one save per turn at the beginning of the game. You can see as well, we've discovered the Owls of Minerva just straight off the bat from turn one, which is very exciting as well. Thirdly, if we go into the heroes, we've already discovered Himiko. So there we go, we've already got fantastically eight extra envoys that we can use to just have a little bit of fun with here. So that's already a fantastic start. Himiko, Extra Governor, and we've got City State starting right next to us. I feel like I kind of have to. I mean, it, I, I could move my capital about, but I kind of have to keep my capital in the right place. It's kind of just, it's just kind of part of the TSL agreement, isn't it? So we'll get the sailing both, you know. We've got a full yield tile there. We've got another little bunch of full yield tiles all available to us. So that's all, that's all lovely. But even better, there is Belognia. So look, I've got another science per turn. So I've got plus one science and plus one faith per turn now, which is pretty damn good. Um, yeah, this, this game is going to get absolutely brilliant. Also, I'd like to point out that I can now get a devotion to Himiko. So that actually gives me another, what, in four turns, I can get Himiko and guarantee that I've got her in my empire. That is just nuts. Now, the question is whether I do that. I could do that. Uh, I think I might because it actually guarantees me a pantheon in a sort of weird roundabout way because I can use her to get some envoys with the Vatican and get myself a bunch of faith and do it that way. So, I mean, that's that's quite fun, really. Owls of Minerva, I mean, ugh, a Himiko game with Owls of Minerva is just a fantastic idea. Rome as well. If you haven't played with Rome before, they're one of my favourite people. Trajan's Column, that extra monument in every city, makes such a massive difference through the game. The extra roads between all of my cities, really handy. Extra gold with trade routes between them. That's become a little bit less important since Spain came out. I kind of wish that would have a little bit of a buff, but never mind. I, I kind of hoped it would be like plus one for the first one plus two for the second one, plus three for the third one, do you know what I mean? Just to sort of chain them up, that would be really fun. Legions, baths, baths are amazing. These things give you either six housing or two housing, uh, but they also give you another two housing and immunity regardless. So even if I've got fresh water in a city, they give four housing and one immunity. They're really, really fun. Oh, I, I love baths, they're, they're amazing. Um, I've got 16 players in this game. I could get myself religion, I think, uh, because I've obviously got Mount Vesuvius down here, and I believe I have the Matterhorn up here, if my knowledge of Europe is correct, which it should be on a TSL map, I would hope. But, am I going to go for an astrology start? I don't think I will. I think I'm going to go for science, and I think I'm going to go for currency. Uh, I like the idea of a room with lots of campuses and lots of commercial hubs, because I can use those campuses, especially because, I mean, look at this, I've got a flipping geothermal fissure right there, which is an amazing thing. Um, yeah, I quite like that idea, having a very science-y, very uh, gold-orientated Rome that I can use. Uh, Himiko, obviously, will give me loads of faith if I if I use her properly. I think, I think this could be really good fun. I should point out as well, yes, we are absolutely going to be recreating the Roman Empire. That is absolutely something we're going to try and do. We're going to try and own all of the Mediterranean. We're going to try and go all the way up to England. It's going to be quite difficult, but... It could, yeah, it could be, it could be a load of fun. I'm just waiting on Owls of Minerva, just in case I find Void Singers. Void Singers would be an incredibly fun thing to do, just because obviously I get a three monument in all my cities. So if I got a three old god obelisk instead, that would be quite entertaining. 
There you go, Vatican has found it down here. That's okay, Himiko, well, I'll use her in order to basically just sort of, yeah, just expand into and, and, and sort of take over the Vatican. Vatican works really, really well with uh, activating great people to give me religious pressure. That's quite exciting. I don't know. I don't know whether or not I'm going to keep the Vatican around, to be fair. It, 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 it could go either way on that one. And actually, look at that. They want a trade route, and if I'm out of Minerva, that will put me to three immediately. So I'm not actually going to waste Himiko on it. I'm instead going to go for Bolognia. So up we go. Himiko is going to move all the way up here, and we're going to go and take over Bolognia as quickly as we can. Here we go. Starting to do this now. That's two envoys with them already. And a tribal hut up here. I am really, really curious to see if we can get Void Singers. I, I just, I feel like with 16 people, getting Void Singers is really, really tough. Because the AI just beelines for it so hard. At any rate, there is the city-state. That's our first diplomatic point. We've got Simbad now. That's quite exciting. Very good indeed. And I believe Geneva is over here. So we're going to go find Geneva quickly as well. We'll combine the plus... Well, it would be plus two science at that point because I'd have one from Blognia and one from Geneva. But Geneva gives me the extra, um, if we remember actually, the extra 15% science from being at peace. Blognia gives me extra great person points. Oh, that's quite exciting. For each, hang on, districts with a building provide plus one point of their type. That would be amazing to keep actually. I could get a lot of great scientists if I, if I beelined that one. So I am going to just throw one more envoy into Bolognia. There is my 57 faith, so I should get a Pantheon next turn. And now that I've got the Code of Laws as well, um, we'll just quickly go and see if I do get it in there. There is the Void Singers. Okay, so that is intriguing. I have a choice now. I either go for Void Singers because I can turn faith into science and culture, which is a really, really powerful combination. And I'm going to get loads of faith from all of my monuments it's a fantastic combination with rome or i could become a city state god and get loads and loads of trade routes and and sort of do it that way now this is a really interesting point i don't know if i i don't know which one i want i think the void singers would be an amazingly fun combo and actually turning extra faith would mean that i could i could pick up people like himiko without having to really worry about getting a holy site the reason i'm not going for a holy site just yet is that I don't want to have to rush my early game into getting one. I'd rather take it kind of relaxed. I'd rather, yeah, just sort of ease into it from that point of view. Um, I'm just trying to think about what the best thing to do here would be. I think a, a Pingala start was, is a fantastic idea. I think getting Rome out and getting lots and lots of science. We've got two scientific city-states that we will have. As I said, Geneva being here, I'm just, I can guarantee it'll be there. Um, yeah, hmm. Because I think we can steal someone's religion and then go void singers afterwards. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going. I, I went for Alza Minerva last time. I'm going to go for void singers. Lovely stuff. Okay, we should now have an old god obelisk, which is giving us a beautiful four gold per turn. I'm actually. I could combine it with Bolognia and get myself loads and loads of great people. It's not a bad idea, actually, that. Um, I don't need God King because I've already got enough faith. So we're going to go for that. Uh, urban planning. We're going to go for discipline. Nice stuff. Go for writing. I hope I'll be able to find somebody pretty quickly to just sort of pop that one down. So I actually could get religious settlements, <laughs> which is which is a nuts thing. Absolutely nuts. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for, not River Goddess, Divine Spark. Now, Divine Spark is really, really handy because you get the extra great people point. But that stacks with Bolognia fantastically. It means a campus with a library in it would give me four points per turn rather than three. And if I put Pingala in there, it means I'm going to get eight points per turn. It means Rome should be able to basically focus on getting all of the early great people. There is also the Matterhorn. We kind of expected we'd find that. That's wonderful. And there is Geneva. I just, this map always sticks Geneva in. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm actually quite, quite pleased I was right on that one. It's like a hunch that's just perfect for me. There you go. Political philosophy already boosted as well. It's a good old Roman start, that one. I got two things. I'm, I'm looking for Hungary over a misdirection with that warrior, and I'm actually going to go look up for France, see if I can boost writing before we get there. I'm combining this builder uh, with the... Uh, hopefully, I can get these deer tiles, which would be pretty cool, um, and I can stick a campus down on this tile over here. 
It's going to be a little bit of building needed because I think I've got a crazy, crazy plan. But it's going to look a little bit like this. That's what I'm looking at. I think it's a really messy old plan, but that's a lovely plus five campus I can get there, a plus four campus. I'm going to actually use this city to get that campus, I think. It's going to be really, really, really disgusting. Actually, no, this campus will be in this city in Rome. So that'll be Rome's campus, and then this city will have this campus. Is that the best way of doing it? Probably not. Probably not. But that is the way I'm going to do it. Vatican and Geneva both want trade routes. That's going to be very handy when the time comes. Perfect. There's the extra science from Geneva. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. I'm going to move this guy onto the deer tile. I might be able to actually get rid of that deer tile in theory. But for now, let's just quickly pick up... Uh, oh, 75 gold. Next turn. Next turn to be able to do that. Let's just put one turn worth of settler building on them. Let's try this again. Okay, so we can now work on that tile. That's fantastic. I'm going to move just to there. Uh, I just need to boost writing. Come on, is... Can I get to Hungary? Nope, not yet. Okay, Himike should be able to find France next turn. Because I'm just about to get suzerainship of Geneva. I just wait for that turn to tick through quickly. Uh, I've got three charges left. There's Geneva. Bang. And I've met France. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. I mean, France will be a good person to conquer later in the game. Especially because it's, oh, it's a luxury France. Magnificent France. Rather than black... Uh, oh, Black Quarters, I can't remember what they call her. Je suis Catherine. The, the, the France with all of the uh, spies. It's not that France, but that's good. And I'm husbandry in four turns. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Okay, um, you can see I'm actually I'm gaining all of these tiles, which is pretty good. Let's stick the campus down. Eight, tire, eight, eight turns on that one. That's easy enough to do. I'm, I'm going to get rid of this deer. I am going to get rid of the deer, and I'm going to rush it through so that we can clear a little bit of the sun. I've got all these tiles to work for Rome, which will be really, really good. But I think being brave and doing a bit of chopping, definitely worth it. In the meantime, I could levy Geneva's army, but I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm actually just going to put uh, my extra envoys into Geneva so that I can then uh, earn extra faith and stack that faith up for later. Um, as I say, if I can, once Himiko disappears, get her immediately back, that would be amazing. There is Hungary. Wonderful stuff. In fact, I mean, we could play both. I can't actually give delegations to anyone at the moment, but I could I could just see how nice I can play with people for the start of the game. That could be quite funny. Brussels. I'm not putting any hope on Brussels, really. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to survive. But I could get one envoy, actually, with Brussels. That could be quite interesting. That would give me at least an extra production when building things in my capital. So I might go and do that. Or is it worth the faith or is it worth the... No, I'm going to go put an envoy in Brussels. Especially because Himoko can actually go and explore stuff for me, which would be quite cool. There is Gaul. I tell you what, playing as anyone next to Gaul at the beginning of the game is an absolute just faff. Because they start with so many of their unique unit and they will rush you. They will rush you with no mercy whatsoever. It is horrible. Yes, I know my lands are weak. I don't get to start with all the warriors you do, you flipping ginger ninja, you. So there's the trader. Okay, that's good because I can actually boost currency in a little bit. Um, that would help me to put down the commercial hub. The question is, do I put the government plaza down first or the commercial hub? I like the government plaza um, because then I can put more governors down and we can get Pingala up and running as quickly as possible. So that's quite fun, actually. Um, let's also now go for Mr. Oh, yeah, mysticism gives us an envoy, but actually I kind of want to get to, yeah, I will go to Government Plaza. I think that's going to be the good thing for me to do. So what I'm going to do with Himiko is actually go and explore and we can go and discover as many people as possible. So I think we've got at least Portugal, Spain and England to go find in one direction or we could go the other direction and we could find well, everyone from Germany to, I don't think Poland's in this game, are they? Yeah, let's go discover England. Why not? I want to go and see the hilarious um, cliffs of Dover in this game. Okay, animal husbandry is there. I don't think anyone will have built a campus just yet, will they? No. Libraries provide plus one science. This is what I would like. That is just an amazing scientist. So there's 25 production. That would pretty much rush the campus through in one turn. Not quite one turn, but almost in one turn. Um, you can see I'm not actually working that tile now, which is pretty good. So let's just quickly rush that through. Nice. 
has discovered that is England. Now this is quite exciting because we can, in theory, oh, send a delegation to them. Oh no, because of the Dover Thirst. Good, yeah, they've got the delegation, fantastic. Right, now this is quite exciting because I think I'm going to get a Golden Age this game. If I get a Golden Age, then I could, in theory, use my faith at the beginning of the game to get settlers and builders out, which is always really fun. I wouldn't normally rush this, but I'm going to get that library in nice and quickly because it's going to take me from one great scientist point to four. I, I mean, yes, I know that my scientist gives me a three one, but no, I think it's worth doing it this game. Absolutely worth it. Gaul has conquered Berlin. Oh my word. Gaul are already getting there qu pretty quickly. Fantastic. We've met Greece as well. Oh, I love how big this map is. It's a wonderfully big map. Um, there's Aachen. Uh, um, I mean, Gaul are about to lose this city. So they're not doing amazingly well, but if they can take Paris as well with their unique units, they'll be doing okay. Oh, already, they want a joint war. No, I don't want to be that sort of person just yet, but it does remind me I do have 22 diplomatic favour. That would be exciting. I should probably sell that to Pericles. Pericles loves diplomatic favour. You know, some games you just, you plan too much. <laughs> this is a crazy, crazy plan, but I love it. I love it. This is what, this is what was going to happen. The problem is, because we're being so scientific at the beginning of the game, I'm actually missing half of these civic boosts as well, boosting three tiles. Well, I'm doing more chopping than anything, but never mind, that'll be 29 production on this one. I don't think it's worth getting Magnus involved or anything like that. We'll just, we'll just choppity chop on that tile. Yeah, that'll do it. Three turns now. And I'm just going to wander over to this government plaza tile. That'd be quite nice to do as well. Okay, right, we've got writing done. We have all of the basics done now. That's good as well. I could get astrology. It's not too late, but I don't think I want to jump in on that bandwagon. I think I'd rather just focus on my path, you know, just doing this right for me. I don't think it's worth it. The Temple of Artemis start is possible because I do have a deer tile there, but it's, again, I don't want to be rushing that too soon. I might mean the Oracle might be a better idea in this city, actually, seeing as I'm going to go for a Pingala and so many great people points. I think we're going to rush currency first, though. Is it worth it? Is it worth doing that? Or do I do bronze working first to get the iron up? I'd quite like to see where iron is so I can get some legion going. I mean... There's a lot of different options available here. Let's go currency first. Oh, I got a trader unit. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So Himiko does actually clear uh, encampments, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, I do, however, want to find the Vatican. That's annoying that I haven't actually discovered where the Vatican is yet. It's, it's clearly here, but never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no units nearby as well. Actually, no, that builder. The builder can go and find it. Right, go to that. Byzantium. Evil Rome. We will take you over. We will destroy you. You are not Rome. I'm clearly Rome. It's just an inferior colour of purple as well. Oh dear, oh dear. They think they're so smug. Barb camp there. Oh no. Oh no, that's going to be an absolute pain. So this library is going to be fantastic. Look at that, 13 science per turn. That library, I believe, is worth a lot more than it usually is. Plus four science, because of course I've got... Geneva and Bolognia involved. So that's that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, the Vatican is being highly annoying and all of its troops are stopping me from actually discovering it. It's very secretive, this game. <laughs> very secretive indeed. Let's get that settled done. I think that's actually a really, really good idea so that I can actually start to put that second campus down. Um, and then after that point, I think we're going to be doing all right. Nope, they are, they are absolutely stopping me from getting in. My god, that is painful. Just let me in, Vatican. I just want to send you a trade route. Actually, Bolognia's taking care of their barb camp for me. That's pretty good. I was worried I was going to have to deal with that one. Oh, gold. Gold, 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 gold. Oh, that's what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. All right, they've left the door open. There's Vatican. Nice. We'll go and trade with it. Get myself that. I mean, I could take it over. That is a, a real option for me, actually, taking over the Vatican. Oh, I don't know. We'll work that one out in a bit. Um, but there's currency boosted. We've got another, uh, you know, envoy there, which is awesome. Yeah, um, I think it might be a bit early in the game, but we'll see if Greece want my favour. Yes, they do. Okay, they absolutely do. 
This is what Greece in the game. It's like having Sweden in the game. They just they just love the stuff. Ten gold per turn. Yes, I will absolutely take ten gold per turn. That triples my gold per turn. Okay, the Vatican just stole my horses. So absolutely they need to be killed. <laughs> like the room can't allow the Pope to just be next to it as well. Dear oh dear oh dear. Just found Mount Vesuvius. That's actually shameful that it took me that long to find it. But never mind. There is Germany as well. Nice to meet you, Germany. I'm surprised they're still in the game after all of the Gaul attention they've been receiving. Uh, did Gaul actually manage to... No, no, that city was ended up being raised. God, Gaul are having an action-packed start of this game. Just going to hold that Settler for four turns. I just want to see if I can get to four pop first and then put this district down. That would be that would be useful. I've got an envoy in a tribal hut. Oh, that's good. That means actually I can uh, Caesar in the Vatican, which would explore a lot of the remaining um, uh, of you know Italy for me, which is pretty cool. I can make friends with England, which is nice. Great stuff. And I've already found Hippolyta, as you can see, which is nice. Um, lots of heroes available for me at the moment. Look at this. Four. Four points per turn. Lovely. Now Rome has to buy this tile. It feels like a waste of gold. But the strange way I'm going to have my city sort of formulate themselves, it's definitely important that I actually own that tile with Rome. Portugal not in this game. I would have expected Portugal to be in this game. I mean, I did put 16 people on it. Maybe oh, maybe it just didn't roll it. Maybe there are more than more than 16 are allowed on this game. Now, uh, this is the thing. I'm going to lose Himiko and I can't explore anymore. But I'd rather have that tribal hut. There's the twins. What did that just give me? Didn't actually say what it gave me. Did it give me some faith? It might have been faith, actually. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, dear. I think the Vatican has just been incinerated. Ouch. Well, Vesuvius does put some big yields down. Eruptions against high yields. But large population loss. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Okay. I was just putting some effort into a galley. But I don't need to do that anymore. We can get the Sattler going. Uh, three, oh no, hang on. Say that three turns until the state workforce. God, I'm delaying this poor Sattler. Delaying and delaying and delaying and delaying. I would like the government plaza down first, I think. That would be important for me. Himiko's back. She was killed. But I'm actually going to take this opportunity just to discover all of Italy. Just so I know what I'm dealing with. Okay. There we go. Right. Government plaza. Down you go, improve that campus for me. Let's get that done. Uh, and then as soon as that's done, we can get that settler out and running as well. We've also now got uh, Pingala, who I can stick into Rome. Okay, okay. It's all starting to go nice now, early empire. Let's do it. First great scientist is mine. Education is boosted. Wonderful. I'm still actually on course to get the second great scientist, but we can't count our chickens on that one. We need to make sure that we we pin that one down nicely. I'm going to save her, actually, to get myself a free library at my second campus. So I heard you guys liked pointlessly large pinning. <laughs> I mean, right, here we go. This is my rough plan for Italy. I'm only going to stick two cities down here. Actually, actually I may end up sitting a third city down here, but... What I realised is that I don't do enough canals. Canals really just, they need more of a place in my game. Look at this. If I settle right on top of that deer and go canal, canal, bath, I can, this lovely plus five over myself over there. That's really, really cool. I've got another city over here, which I'm going to stick on top of the marble and then I can create a lovely canal over to this point. A beautiful campus, beautiful industrial zone. And over here, which is just my finest creation, city here and city here. There's going to be a bath, there's going to be a bath and a canal, there's going to be industrial zones and quarries and lumber mills and campuses. There's probably going to be a campus over here that I can put down as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. This is pointlessly complicated and I will achieve nothing over planning like this. But I'm going to do it anyway, because sod it. You know, sometimes you just have to say... Why can't we just over plan a game ridiculously? Actually, thinking about it, I probably need an encampment down to be able to do all of that. Our oh, Stonehenge has finally gone down. Let's see what people have got. Eastern Orthodoxy. Byzantium, actually. I kind of want their religion. That would be pretty neat. Let's uh, let's just... Okay, yeah, I'm okay. That's great. I've, that's all lovely. Choral music from the Ottomans. No, Byzantium feed the world. If that came over to my empire, I would not object. I mean, in all of this madness, I could end up putting holy sites down as well. I'm really not... Yeah. 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get a religion, but I'm just thinking if I ever stole Byzantium's religion, which I'm kind of tempted to uh, basically go and declare war on them to, to get it. That would be quite, quite nice for me. Okay, Pingala, I need to get down to grants as quickly as I can, actually. Uh, connoisseur or researcher? Now, what do I need more of? This is the thing. I could go for connoisseur to get myself political philosophy nice and quickly. That would be quite cool. I could go do that. I'd get theatre squares down. But I think actually going towards education in order to get universities down quickly is probably the best. So let's go for researcher. We'll, we'll throw all of our eggs in one basket and go for science. Actually, we're doing pretty well on science overall. We're in second so far. Second is pretty good. We'll take that one. And actually, we're doing well on the old uh, great scientist trade as well. Okay, second city with a lovely road that sort of now connects everything up. That is brilliant. We are going to immediately swap over a couple of tiles. This is going to be an incredibly messy situation where Rome owns these tiles and then Ostia has this. But I think that is exactly the formation we wanted. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. We'll, we'll settle on that for now. Um, and then, yeah, campus. It's going to take quite a few turns to build it. But if I can get it, that's awesome. A new era dawns. Okay, we've got urban planning, which is pretty good. But I might get Ilkham, actually, in quickly. That's pretty good. Discipline's awesome. Uh, I've got a lot of barbarian issues going on at the moment. I could get a uh, maritime ministry to fight some barbs off, but no for now. That's okay. That is okay. First things first, I want to get Pingala and Grants in. Lovely stuff. I think that means I should. Oh, well, actually, I say that. I think people are actually buying in scientists. Yeah, look, France just, uh, I think they just used some faith to get that one in, but never mind. So we'll start getting some scientists in. Do I want mathematics and one random tech? It's not worth the faith, to be honest, because I have a choice with my golden age. We can either go for monumentality so i can actually buy settlers with faith or i could go for exodus of evangelists and get the four profit points per turn i don't know if it's worth going for profit points it would give me a religion in 12 turns uh how many religions are gone four are already gone no quite frankly it's not worth it okay so we're going to get monumentality i save that though do i want to save that and go for getting himiko back again She's only a thousand faith. I think actually, no, we need to spread. We need to spread around a bit. I think that's got to be the priority here. So we'll go monumentality. And I think we'll have a look and see how much a settler is. 150. Uh, okay, that's not bad at all. Let's do that. Lovely, lovely stuff. Right. A campus is, it needs uh, 90 production or so. Clearing that forest will almost rush it for me, but not quite. Um, but I can put a mine down immediately after. So there you go. That's half done now. It's good. I'm just going to rush straight for the settler. Oh, Rome is down to two population, which hurts quite a bit, but it, it's worth it. I think it's worth it. We're going to quickly just get this mine going, boost the campus a little bit further. Uh, 17 turns, but I'm just going to go and take off that. I think this tile is probably worth putting a mine down on as well. Um, yeah, we're going for a heavily, heavily rushed industrial start here, but I think, I think it's worth it. So I swap that in. Rome has still got enough decent tiles. That's okay. We're going to now chop this. Um, one turn. Yeah, that was definitely worth doing. There we go. The campus is now finished. Nice, 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 nice. And that means, okay, if I get this settle to go up in that direction, you can come in. This is definitely the one without the library. It is. And I can go pop. Now I'm 31 per turn and we have a scientist now this guy gives us mathematics and one random technology from the medieval era the medieval era we haven't under we haven't done any of these yet i'm just thinking is am i going to beeline for it I'm, I'm going to go for apprenticeship really i'd quite like to get industrial zones down off it. is it worth doing it this quickly because i don't have the population for that to be fair um so it's not really worth it i think i might have to go for some of these techs actually we might have, oh, if we can build barbs actually barbs are pretty good let's go do those so is it worth using him i think it probably is let's just get it out of the way and done military tactics mathematics okay that's not too bad actually so this is interesting i can actually get an industry on this tile that would be a wine industry which means that i get 20 percent culture 
in the host city. I don't think Ostia has any other options. No, actually, oh, it does. It could get a Wales industry, in theory. Hmm, as could Rome. I think that's his only other choice as well. So, is it worth putting it in Rome? Actually, I can't, because it's settled on top of wine, isn't it? Is it? Where's the wine? Where is the wine? I, I, you know, I don't even know where the wine is. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Helge Torp and The Broccoli, and everybody else who supports me on Patreon. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining Discord. You guys keep me going. You're the best.